Welcome to Cooking Up Louisiana Treasures. I'm Chef Celeste and on this episode, we're cooking with U.S. farm-raised catfish. Welcome to Cooking Up Louisiana Treasures. I'm Celeste and I'm a chef so I know good Louisiana food and that's what we're going to talk about today on the show when we talk about U.S. farm raised catfish. U.S. farm raised catfish is the preferred fish for many of the best restaurants here in Louisiana like Middendorf's here in Manshack. Welcome at Middendorf's. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so this is the famous Middendorf's. That's Ta the take world me around. famous. Yeah, let me let, see. Let's, show, let's start where the whole story started 85 years ago. Okay. That's the old original Middendorf's, the old bar. Uh huh. Uh, it's all old Cypress, built in 1934, and it was just this dining room. That's all it was. Wow. So over the years, as other restaurants closed, they added more to it. Okay. You know, more dining rooms and everything. Mm hmm. And. Uh, 1968 added another building okay and then 2007 i took it over uh -huh. and i added more to it not only since we need a room but also for safety for flooding and everything okay so speaking of flooding you went through katrina here anytime there's a storm east of us mm -hmm. it doesn't affect us okay the storms go west and then push like Murpa in there it can change like this. Oh, wow. Like Isaac, the last one, uh -huh. we had water up to the table. Mm -hmm. And oh. as the storm went into Baton Rouge, uh -huh. and then the wind came from the west, this little lake, we had like in 20 minutes, two feet of water in there. Oh, wow. Back here used to be the, the original old kitchen. And all the magic was happened here. All the magic. It's, it's now a waitress area. OK. Um, and it was very small. They used to do everything we do now upstairs. You see in our big kitchen that they used to do in here. Okay. But in 2008, I flooded. And so I realized it. So in 2008, we flooded. And six, month, six weeks later, we start building a kitchen higher and drier, what we call it. And oh, so we have this ramp this. and we have food. So that's yeah. the exercise. That's our exercise oh. room we're calling it. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have over here? Tell us the difference. Well, that's our yes, farm raised catfish. Okay. What we serve at Middendorf's. And what we're known for, and it's probably 90% is, we have our thin-cut catfish. Mm -hmm. oh, that you know, this beautiful. bigger fillets, we cut everything. Now, it's an expensive product, and since a lot more work involved. Okay. Since we cut the belly off, the bloodline, and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's when you look at all of them, mm -hmm. you know, there's no fat in it. It just looks beautiful white. Okay. That's our thin-cut, thin-fried catfish. Okay. Then we, what we call the thick, we use them two to three ounce fillets, mm -hmm. and we serve this. Okay. And then... Very small percentage, we get some whole catfish, they're like 14 to 16 that. ounce, and you get the whole flavor. Well, exactly. So what are you going to do? Show us the... Well, um, so show us it's a do. very simple recipe, all our catfish here, we just put a bit of uh, water and salt on it. Mm -hmm. Middendorf's been here for 80 years, and it's a roadhouse diner. Uh -huh. So people are used to putting their own seasoning on there. Right. So why U.S. farm-raised catfish? Well, it's a consistent product, consistent quality. They are uh, like the uniform, you know, when you want a two to three ounce fillet, you know, they fry consistently. As fast as we go on, it, you can't have all different sizes and frying. That's a, it has to be a consistent taste-wise, as you taste, it oh, has wow. to be on flavor, mm -hmm. not off flavor, uh, meaning tasting clean. And, um, and then also the size is important. That's what the customers want. This is definitely clean, fresh has that mild sweet flavor to it oh so. yeah it's wonderful that, and the corn meal and corn flour the mixture we have here uh -huh. really brings out the sweet flavor and that's why people when they come here mm -hmm. you know they put their own little uh, seasoning on there if it's now Louisiana hot sauce or mm -hmm. anything uh, people really love it so that's one thing that people are coming to know and love about U.S. farm raised catfish when you say U.S. farm raised catfish you know you're getting a nice
Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's empanadas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix the beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika, the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw in the olive, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Ballerina. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. Well, folks, we're going to talk to our special guest, Commissioner Mike Strain. He is the Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry. Welcome. Thank you. We have a wonderful show today all yes. about U.S. farm-raised catfish. I love U.S. farm-raised so, catfish. And it's so versatile. Mm -hmm. There's so many things to do, especially during the holidays yes. with catfish. Right. And, and we have so many wonderful, delicious things that you can do, and you can do them quickly. What is your favorite way to eat U.S. farm-raised catfish? Well, well, I like to take it and broil it down a little bit mm -hmm. and then put some lump crab meat on top Ooh, of it. Okay. Now, I like to use a, a fair amount of butter and a little bit of heavy cream and a little mm -hmm. bit of parsley uh -huh. and a little bit of garlic. And okay. it's just incredible, incredible. There's so like many it. ways to do it. And for us, you know, as an old country boy, a lot of times we get it, you can get it right from the farm or you can get it really, really fresh. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing better than that. Let's say they're not cooking which you should be cooking, and they're going out to a restaurant. How well, do they ask before you eat. Mm -hmm. So you can ask the waiter, is, are you serving U.S. catfish? Mm -hmm. Ask for that. And if you ask for that, I guarantee if they don't have it this time, when you go back, they will have it. That's right. And you can tell the difference. The best way to thaw your U.S. farm-raised catfish is in the refrigerator. So take it out, put it in the refrigerator for about two days, and it will thaw out nicely. But if you're in a hurry, like I always am, Thaw it under cool running water. And remember to make sure the water is cool because that way, if it's hot or warm, you're gonna cook your fish and you don't wanna do that before it's time. Now, if you're gonna store the fish in the refrigerator, make sure your temperature in the refrigerator is less than 40 degrees and don't store your fish for more than two days. Cook it before that if you're gonna keep it in the refrigerator. But other than that, if you're gonna cook it right now, you wanna take all the moisture off of it and you can bread it, fry it, you can season it up with oil. All right, folks, this is gonna be so easy. We're gonna do pumpkin seed crusted catfish. Now you can use pecans, whatever you happen to have um, that you like, but it's gonna be nice, simple, and festive because what I wanna do is add something different to your holiday tables, whether, no matter what holiday it is, I wanna add something different. So this is what you're gonna try. You're gonna roast off your seeds, and then you're gonna chop them like this here. And I'm gonna add a few more seeds in here just, just to, yeah, no, okay. chop, chop, chop. You know chop. what I like to say, chop like you know what you're doing. <laughs> and then in my bowl, I'm gonna walk behind you, Commissioner. I am going to grab some fillets of catfish. Actually, I'm gonna put some egg in here first so I don't have to reach over you. So let me just stir up a little bit of egg. The egg is gonna be just a binder to help all of my seasonings adhere. So, while you're doing that, I'm gonna reach over. Okay. I'm gonna put maybe four fillets in here. I think four would be good. And then, grab that. And we already baked around. these seeds. Yeah, the seeds are already baked seeds. off. So you see how They're easy nice that is. Crunchy. This is about two eggs in here. So now I'm gonna add some more seasoning to it. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Now you notice I'm using my dry hand now. You don't wanna go into your seasoning mix or anything else with the wet hand because it's gonna stick to that particular hand. I'm gonna add a little bit of tarragon in here. Add some cayenne pepper in here because I like it. Not as much as you use, <laughs> but I'm gonna add that. I like there. it hot. Yes, you like it hot. <laughs> then we're gonna add some Cajun seasoning in here. There you go. Nice, simple ingredients. Um, I want you to chop up. Can you chop some garlic? I love I to use fresh garlic. You can use granulated, well I do have granulated garlic in here too, but we're gonna add sure. some fresh. Okay, so you ready? Now I'm going back in with the wet hand. Just mix that around real quick. Add a little bit of flour, just to coat. My pan is nice and hot with some olive oil, but I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Okay. How are you looking good. over there? We're looking good. Okay, can I get okay. some cornmeal in here? There you go. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Can I have some seeds? You're, yes. you're done? Your seeds are done? Yeah, my seeds are done. All right. Now, this catfish is not going to take long to cook up at all. A little more. Yeah, let me have all that. Mm, a little more. Yeah. yeah. There you let go. me have your garlic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be great. Nice. I okay, like that. Okay, very good. So now I'm just going to toss that around. Mm hmm. Get, Get a nice of them. coating. Yes, we okay. want all of it in there. A nice coating of everything on here. And you move that around. Pull it pan so I have oil everywhere. We're gonna go flesh side down. There we go. Now take a look at that, flesh side okay. down. Flesh side down. And away from you, so that you're not splashing onto yourself. Okay. All right. Put that in there, Commissioner. That's beautiful. Simple as that. Okay. And Let that cook on medium. You don't uh -huh. want it on high because you don't want the nuts to burn. So, okay. easy as that. So, Commissioner, while I'm cleaning my hands, tell us, what is your favorite way to eat catfish besides fried. We're not talking po' boys or anything like that. You know we all like that, so. Well, I like it cooked down like this and we put a little bit of crawfish etouffee on top. Ooh. It's absolutely incredible. I just, like that. Just, oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. And so you, you, you cook them down like this mm -hmm. and, and then you spread that etouffee out. A little bit of rice on the side, which uh -huh. is wonderful Louisiana rice yeah. on the side. And it, it's and a little bit of green salad. And of course, you know, I'm an okra guy. I I'm, love okra. Dump that okra in this pot for Absolutely. me, Absolutely. It's nice, it's clean, it's whole. Yeah. And we're just gonna let that smother while we're cooking everything else. I have the pan on high, and we are good. So folks, we're gonna let this cook, and then we'll come back with another catfish recipe for you. Budget, so don't accept defeat. Now you can get covered and still buy me treats. You take care of your pets. Now it's their turn to take care of you. Visit GetCoveredAmerica.org to learn about your health insurance options. As an American, it's hard to hear that we have a serious hunger issue in our country. And as a parent, it's even harder to hear that one in five of our kids struggles with hunger, especially when billions of pounds of good food are wasted every year. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide billions of meals to families in need right in your community. Visit feedingamerica.org to support Feeding America and your local food bank. Together we can solve hunger. Together we're Feeding America. Foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. I only use U.S. farm-raised catfish. We've been selling U.S. farm-raised catfish since 1978. They do have a choice for a good, wholesome, safe fish. We know it's a good product. As for U.S. farm-raised catfish, only the finest, freshest, tastiest. You can taste the difference. From our farm to your table, your family deserves the best. U.S. farm-raised catfish.
Through modern production practices, today's farm catfish have a mild taste and flaky texture that is prized by restaurants and home chefs alike. U.S. farm-raised catfish is endorsed as a top source of protein by environmental groups because of its efficient feed conversion rate and environmentally friendly farming practices. Since it is virtually free of harmful contaminants such as mercury, U.S. farm-raised catfish can be safely eaten every day. Moreover, every serving of all-American farm catfish is protein-rich, low in saturated fat, and contains heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids, along with other important nutrients. A four-ounce serving contains about 17 grams of protein and only 140 calories. Catfish farms provide safe wetland habitats to support healthy bird populations in the face of natural wetland habitat loss. Site selection for ponds is based on avoiding protected wetlands or areas with any history of pollution or contamination from any source. Ponds are constructed to minimize seepage or erosion in order to isolate the habitat from outside influences. Because of these practices, U.S. farm-raised catfish represents one of the most eco-friendly protein sources available today. All okay. right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get that pan of catfish in mm -hmm. the oven. We topped it off, you wanna go ahead and put that okay. in the oven for me we'll real quick? Do. We topped it off with some shrimp, lemon juice, and a little bit more of our chopped pumpkin seeds, and we're just gonna let that bake off while we do our next dish, which the next dish is gonna be our cream catfish. It's gonna be creamed with spinach, oh. topped with crab meat, all, all the good stuff that we like here in Louisiana. So I have the butter going. Okay. Can add some garlic in here for me. Yes. How much? All of it. All of it. Yeah, we like garlic, so let's put all yeah. of that in there. Yes. Ooh. So we'll move this out of your way okay. real quick. And that was about three and a half, four pods? Right, right. Three to four pods, more if you like more. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna let that go. Let me have the um, crab meat. Crab meat? Yes. Oh, that's some nice crab meat in here. Okay. okay. All of it? You gonna put all of it in there? Half yeah. of it. Half of it. Half of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see half. Let's see about half of it. Yeah. There we go. That works. Okay. Now, let's move this around a little bit. Okay. Heavy cream. Yeah, heavy cream. Heavy cream. I'm gonna put about two cups. About two cups, there. just kind of filling yeah, it out. We need to fill okay. it out there. Okay. We have some spinach. Okay. How much are your spinach? We're gonna put a cup of spinach in there. I don't want a lot of the liquid, so okay. let me do that. Give that a quick stir. Let's move that out of your okay. way. Okay. Good. Cup of spinach. Shake that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go for my seasonings. And you notice I have not put the catfish in here yet because catfish is gonna cook quickly. So I'm gonna add some granulated garlic in here also. Oh, that's nice. That's about a teaspoon. We're gonna put some okay. salt. We're gonna put two pinches of salt in here. We're gonna add a little bit more tarragon. Of course, you know I'm going for the Cajun seasoning. A little Cajun seasoning. Yeah, it's gonna add go. that in there. There you go. You want some heat? A little bit of heat. Okay, we're gonna add some heat. There you go. Little? There. Okay. There you go. There now you're there. Okay. And stir that around for a okay. bit, Commissioner. Right. Now, what I want you to do. Yes. Take your catfish. Okay. And lay me about five pieces in the bottom of the pan. Okay. Well, these are some really nice yeah. catfish, U.S. catfish. Okay, we may get three in that pan, but yeah. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's okay. get that in there. All right, we have three Let's in the bottom. with a little bit of feta cheese. Okay. I can't wait till this comes out of the oven yeah, this already. this is good. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna do a pour on okay. here All right. so that we can um, okay. get this in the oven. So take a look at this, folks. Got your catfish on there. You're gonna pour your mm. nice crab sauce on top of there. Mm -hmm. Let's pop that in the oven. It's gonna take about a half an hour okay. in the oven. And all of that flavor is just gonna get into that catfish. And when we come back, you're gonna see how good it is. Go ahead, you can put it in. Put it in the meantime, I'm just gonna put some in the skillet since we have some of our sauce left over. So I'm gonna turn this back on and I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to do on the stove top. So for those of you that you may not want to turn your oven on, it's okay, we got you. We're gonna put some of that on here and show you how nice you do it. Um, now I'm still putting this flesh side down. That's just the way I like to cook it. It cooks up faster that way and we're just gonna let that go. Now it's gonna be on a medium heat. You're okay over there? I'm good. We're gonna I'm put good. It on we medium have an heat. oven full. Mm-hmm, oven is full. 
But when you're making a nice meal like this here, you're gonna have a lot of things all at one time. So timing is really important. So whatever takes the longest, that's what you're gonna do first. So that's why we have, mm -hmm. you know, the order that we have going on. So we're gonna let this cook. Okay. So tell us, um, U.S. Farmers Catfish. Yes. Is that, um, is it big business? How should it's we huge, ask for it? It's a huge business. We always say ask before you eat. Right. When you're here in Louisiana, S, and it's got to be a U.S. farm-raised catfish. Mm -hmm. And so it is a huge business. And these catfish, they're raised in ponds, mm -hmm. you know, and they're fed, they're fed a diet, right. a very good diet. And so when you, get, when you taste this, you can taste, you know, Louisiana, you can taste the delta in them. Yeah. And, we, you know, these are, the, they work very closely with our ag centers and everything. Mm -hmm. So this is aquaculture. Yes. When you talk about aquaculture here in Louisiana, you know, it's a half a billion dollar a year business. Really? In the United States, in the billions of dollars. And this supports your local farmers. Mm -hmm. But this is the finest, the freshest, yep. the tastiest. And you, when, you, when you taste the flavor, you taste the consistency. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very, you know, flaky, delicious meat. Yep. And it's very wholesome and it's very, very, catfish is very good. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's empanadas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika, the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw on the olives, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Okay. Hey, what have we here? We're going to make some... Catfish tacos with our U.S. farm raised catfish because who doesn't like to snack while you have all of this going on? So, since these okay. take time, basically what I've done, you ready? I am ready. Okay, I I'm can ready. Yeah, you can tell gonna, that, huh? I'm going to tell them you what we did that, so huh? far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took one of the catfish fillets, put a little bit of oil in here, a little bit of garlic, <laughs> and put it in here, and basically I just kind of broke it up while it was in the pan. So, nice and simple. We're going to take our tortillas here. Okay. Let me turn this off. And I'm going to heat your go. tortilla up a little bit. I'm going to put oh. it this side down because we're not using napkins there you right go. now. We're just going to pick it up, let it warm for a minute. Okay. You want some quinoa in there? I do. You can use salsa. You can use whatever there you, you have on hand. I'm going to put a little okay. bit of catfish down there for you. Okay. Let me take a scoop. I don't want to put the fish in there with that. There put you that go. on there. You want some cheese? I do want some cheese. Okay, add some cheese on there. Add a little bit of cheese on there. And we're ready All to go. All right, huh? folks. we got U.S. farm raised. Catfish, catfish tortillas. Where do you go when you want to get the freshest U.S. farm-raised catfish? You go to your local fish market, and for me, that's Deanie's here, and manager Chandra is going to take us in and show us around. So, Chandra, how long has Deanie's been here? Over 50 years. Okay. And my family's owned it for 33 years. So what all do you sell? We sell boiled seafood, fresh seafood, 
Um, you know, we have a full service restaurant. Okay. Um, you know, of course, we serve uh, premium farm raised catfish. Mm -hmm. So, so why are you as farm raised catfish? Well, you know, we consider it to be the best. Yes. And, you know, when this venture started with my parents, um, their philosophy was to have a good quality product at a good price mm -hmm. and to serve to the masses. And that's what we have here with this catfish. Um, it really is the best you can buy. Mm -hmm. And when you're feeding on the scale that we're feeding people on, mm -hmm. and on a weekly mm -hmm. basis, this is what you need to have, and this is the best. It's, it's a clean fish, you know? You don't have um, any, uh, any odor to it. You don't have to worry about it. It's mm -hmm. just a good, white, flaky fish. What are some of the popular catfish dishes here? Uh, of course, catfish dinner, which can uh -huh. be fried or broiled. Okay. Um, and then it's on our, our seafood platter, that di the giant and the half really? platter. Yes. Okay, so what all comes on that seafood platter? The giant seafood platter and the half platter has the same food, just a different quantity. Mm -hmm. It's uh, shrimp, oysters, the farm raised catfish, soft shell crab is optional on it, stuffed crab, and then crawfish balls. We need to come here and eat more yes, often. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. U.S. Farm Raised Catfish is available across the state at grocery stores and seafood markets like Deanie's. Ask for U.S. Farm Raised Catfish the next time you shop. We have a nice assortment here of goodies using our U.S. Farm Raised Catfish. Let me turn that off. We have our spinach and crab baked catfish. Look at that. That is incredible. That looks amazing. That is then incredible. Then we have our, that's going to pair with some spaghetti and all the good things that you need for the holidays. Then this one here is... It was baked. It was baked. We topped that off with a little bit more of our spinach and cheese and it just all that good stuff. And but here you combine that with some wonderful Gulf Court shrimp. Yes, and some pumpkin seeds. So you roast that off. You can use pecans. Mm -hmm. It's nice, folks. It's simple. Whatever the recipe, let me, I'm going to make you a plate. Whatever recipe you choose Absolutely. to use, just make it nice, good, and delicious. And so. you can get all this information at our website, cookinguplouisianatreasures.com. Yes. Go there, take the survey, you can look at all the different episodes, mm -hmm. and you can get these recipes. That's right. And it's so nice and easy and Thank simple. You. So basically what we want you to do is try something new. Get you some potatoes, get some all Thank that good you. stuff. I'm going to break you off a piece of absolutely. this catfish. I've been Folks, waiting on that look too. Look at that. That looks absolutely So clean amazing. catfish. Yes. Right? With lump crab meat lump crab and meat. cheese mm -hmm. and mustard greens. Mm -hmm. And don't forget. The what, 30 second fish tacos? So, you know what? That's mm -hmm. what I'm going here. The, the taco that I did not get a chance to eat. You did not. Eat. I ate the first one. We'll see you next time. <laughs>